episode nine. We're getting close to the end. We got one more after this. Today, I'm shooting further, further than I have on any shots yet. I have the elk down here. We're gonna range him and we're gonna take a shot. We got some right to left wind today. Nine hundred and fifty yards. Nine forty-eight point nine. Calls for twenty-one MOA. as close as I can tell you we have probably almost a two MOA hold to the right we have pretty much a full value wind that let me tell you what this tells me so this tells me a full value wind at 10 mile an hour I would need to hold five MOA to the right with this wind I'm going to say it's probably more like a four mile an hour wind and we're going to hold about two MOA to the right. So basically we're holding pretty far up into that shoulder. Alright, I felt really good on that shot. 2M away puts me Yeah, all the way on the front of the shoulder. That's how much we held for about a four mile an hour, three three to five mile an hour wind. If we just drifted a little bit, we should be on the shoulder. If we drifted for, say, a six mile an hour wind, I think we st should still be in the lungs. Let's go check it out. All right, we made her down to the target. Let's go look at it together. Let's see if we killed this elk. All right here, guys. Right there. I believe we've killed this elk. We're back. We drifted a little bit further than I thought we would. I held way up here. I held two minutes. I probably should have held about two and a half minutes. So I called that wind about a half minute off. And here's the, here's what this shows is the back of the vitals. There's where I hit. I assume, I assume that that would have got some lungs and probably liver. That's what I would say that that shot would have been. A lung liver shot. Um, this is why it's so important to go out here and shoot in the wind. It doesn't feel right to aim way up in here. It doesn't feel right. You know, we're used to going out here in the whitetail woods and growing up. We just hold here. That's where we shoot. And it just feels right to hold, hold there. But when you're shooting long range, you can't always have the luxury to hold there. And you have to come out and you have to make these shots in some wind in some conditions that you're going to find yourself in the real world. And then you're going to find yourself feeling comfortable on that real elk or that real deer to hold where you have to hold to let that bullet do a little drifting and hit where it needs to hit. Hey, leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to see me do. This being the ninth episode, we got one more of this one shot challenge. Leave me a comment and let me know what you would like to see me do. I'm going to do another series, probably not something that I'll drop a video every day, but maybe one or two videos a day. It's kind of a lot to commit to doing 
a video every single day and having to edit it. I'm a one man team. What you see is uh, I'm, I'm doing it all. So it, it does take a couple hours every single day to, to make this happen. So we'll probably do it once or maybe twice a week going forward, keep the content rolling. But I wanna know, what do you, what do you wanna see? What, what's the topic or what's something that you would see as interesting or that you would like to see um, me continue to do? I have an idea, but I wanna hear from you. What's your ideas? Drop them below, leave me a comment. And again, episode nine, I appreciate you following. I appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with episode 10.